Wow, wow, wow. The Champions League always delivers. Wow. <laughs> so we had two games today and we're going to have two games on Wednesday. Quarterfinals of the Champions League 2023-2024. So look at this. This is just like a summary of what happened, right? For the Real Madrid against Manchester City game. Third minute, Real Madrid 1 0. Eleventh minute, 1 1. Fourteenth minute, Real Madrid scored the second goal, 2 1. Seventy fifth minute, Real Madrid scored. Oh, uh, Manchester City scored, 2 2. And then, seventy seven minute, it was Manchester City 3. Real Madrid 2. 90th minute. Real Madrid 3. Manchester City 3. And for the Arsenal game. 12th minute. Arsenal 1-0. Bukayo Saka. 18th minute. Arsenal 1. Bayern 1. 31st minute. Arsenal 1. Bayern 2. 75th minute. Arsenal 2. Bayern 2. Absolute Cinema. This is why we love the Champions League. The best competition in the world. You never know what can happen. And it was everything. You know, drama, penalties, rivalry, hope. You know, everything that you want to see in the Champions League. Probably not the red card, but a lot of yellow cards. But oh my goodness. What a day. So we're going to jump a little bit and talk about some details. By the way, thank you so much for everybody that uh, watched my streams in one of my channels. And uh, it was good. If, you, if you're looking for somewhere to hang out on the match day, you have to click on the link below and join one of our channels. And, and you're going to see that we do something different over there than, than other people, all right? So enough with my blah, blah, blah and plugging myself. But oh, my goodness. And Bayern Munich didn't have their fans. They came to the Emirates Stadium in London and get a result. It's not done until it's done. And the funny thing is there is no away goals anymore. Otherwise, Bayern were going to have a huge advantage on this, scoring two goals away. But it doesn't matter. They came to get a result at the Emirates. They didn't have their fans. So Arsenal can still do the same. And this time around, Arsenal will have all their fans with them at the Allianz Arena. So it's not done yet. It's a, uh, it's a, it, it's a mental block here from Arsenal that they have to break in order to really get to that level. And they almost lost the game today. The same could be said for Real Madrid against Manchester City. 3-3, three, three, good result for both teams. And that is promising. It promised us the second leg all gone blazing. Be there because it's going to be awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's now move to give you some details for the game between Real Madrid and Manchester City first. Ruben Diaz scored a non goal for City. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, for, for Real Madrid, of course. They, he, he helped them, scoring the first goal for them. Rodrigo scored uh, a goal for Real Madrid and also Valverde. Wow, what a pass from Vinicius Jr. What a finish from Fede Valverde. And for uh, Manchester City, Bernardo Silva, the second minute. It was so quick to score this goal. And then Phil Foden, 66 minute. Josko Gvardiol, 71st minute. Let's go to some statistics here. Shot, 14 for Real Madrid, 12 for Manchester City. Shot on target, 6 for Manchester City, 5 
for Real Madrid. Ball possession. Look at that. Manchester City 62. Real Madrid 38. Other statistics here. Doesn't really matter. But you see, you can dominate with the ball. But it doesn't mean anything at the end of the day because you have to, to score. Bad news is that uh, I think uh, Tuameni, somebody is not going to be there for, for the second leg. Let me make sure. Yeah, he got uh, Tuameni got a, a yellow card, which is going to keep him away from, uh, from the second leg. So Carvajal also got a yellow card, but he's going to be there because he didn't accumulate... Uh, yellow card silver got a yellow card for city and also a kanji listen both teams are struggling with injuries and some defensive issues to be honest with you you see even edison wasn't there johnson john stones was there but you know 50 percent if you look at the game that he had today uh Nathan ake is not there kyle walker is not there and you know Courtois not there for Real Madrid. Um, you know, there is no Alaba, there is no Militao, the, you know. So both teams are struggling with injuries. But if I have to guess very quickly here, a slight advantage to Manchester City because they're going to play at home. But nothing is done, okay? Nothing, nothing yet. Let's move on very quickly. Some details about the game for Arsenal question do you think the last minute foul the so-called quote-unquote fouls on Saka was really a foul or you think Saka tried to you know to to cheat so depending on what what team you support if you ask Arsenal fans I think 99% of them are going to tell you it was a penalty I've seen it given but some people are going to say he just threw himself. He just dragged the leg so he can be touched by Noya. So this kind of uh, situation, you can't really convince anybody, you know, because people got opinions. Hurricane got a yellow card. Alfonso Davis got a yellow card. He's not going to be there in the second half. So, you know, some advantage to... To Arsenal here because there is a game with uh, Alfonso Davis and another game without him so it's going to be tough tough for for Bayern Munich it's not done yet but because they have experience they've been there done it they beat Arsenal you know so many times in the past they still have that psychological advantage on Arsenal it's gonna be a very tough game it's it's hard really to call Let's get to some statistics here. So, like I said, Bukayo Saka and Le Leandro Trossard scored for, for the Gunners. Serge Gnabry and Harry Kane scored for Bayern Munich. Serge Gnabry actually celebrated. He was cooking. <laughs> I thought that he was never going to celebrate against Arsenal, but he'd been so long, man. You know, they didn't want him. And he went in Germany and started uh, cooking over there. So he celebrated as, you know, everybody should. Even if you played for Arsenal. You know what I mean? So, and Harry Kane, of course, he hit Arsenal. That penalty, cool, collected, bottom corner, bam. Okay, shot altogether. 13 shot for Arsenal, 8 for Bayern Munich. Shot on target, 4 for Arsenal, 2 for Bayern Munich. And guess what? Kingsley Coman almost scored the winner. Oh, it was uh, so close. That flick, that back flick hit the post. He beat everybody. He beat Raya. No chance for him. But the post was there to save Raya. It was going to be a disaster because it was almost the last minute of the game. 60% possession for Arsenal. That's what they do though. <laughs> Arsenal possession. They know how to keep the ball. Um, other statistics here, you can read yourself. So let me know uh, what do you think about the, this game. 
the second leg who's gonna win who's going through um very tough but i think Bayern are gonna edge it it's gonna be a tough game so they are going through and also manchester city are going through uh to the semi-finals